unmute yourself. So I've just been watching the replays of the thinking into results. I need to focus. I shouldn't talk about all the different things rushing through my head. I should focus on what I really want. I want to share. Of course, I want to be healthy. What do they say? Healthy, wealthy and wise. In the Thinking Into Results program, I get the impression for a lot of people the focus is the financial and the justification for that is, is something you can measure. You can tell, have you improved or not? Because when you have a sum in your bank account or an amount written down, a goal that you want to reach, a monthly goal, a weekly, a daily, an annual goal, then it's very easy. You can tell <coughs> when you become a millionaire, when you've got a million dollars on your bank account. And even though I, I keep saying that was never my goal, yeah, sure, it would be great to have all the money that I need to do what I want to do. And the fact is, I am content. I do have everything that I need. I once posted, not very long ago, a blog article called Living in Abundance. I am extremely blessed. Yes, here I go again. Is it the focus? Is it the going out on the tangent? Yesterday we went to a concert at the Imperial Palace Chapel where two of my sons sang with the former Vienna Boys Choir in a men's choir, Chorus Vienensis. It was a Christmas concert. We went together with my sister-in-law, her friend, his family, and our landlady, who is a dear friend of ours. And we were so grateful to be there because this concert has been cancelled twice. Last year, completely cancelled due to Corona. And two weeks ago, at the beginning of December, it was also postponed. And thankfully, it finally occurred. Only two performances yesterday, not the original three or four. I don't know how many they had planned originally, but at least three. So we were very lucky to have been able to attend the first concert that they had in a long time. So my focus, my goal, is to live a life of abundance. But what is abundance? What is richness? So the story that I want to tell, which everything centers back to, my focus, is actually my life of faith. And because... I don't want to, I've said this before, I don't want to tell anybody what to do, yet I want to share the wonder, the joy, the gift, the blessing that I have received. Now, doing this Thinking Into Results course with Bob Proctor, with Vivian Posh, with lots of other people together, has been very enlightening, enriching, stimulating. And confirming, <coughs> pardon me, it's just confirmed to me all that I already know and knew and learned many, many years ago at a time when, gosh, this is where I come to the difficult part where I don't want, I don't want to tell you and I do want to tell you. And of course, many of you know, I'm a member of the Unification Movement. Now, the Unification Church was abolished many, many years ago, was replaced by an organization called the Family Federation for World Peace. I don't even know if I'm a, a paid-up member of Family Federation. Oh, I'm going off on a tangent again. I'm thinking of all the other things to talk about. I can't, I can't narrow it down. You know, Mark Gungor... He talks about men and women and men's brains and everything being in a box and just talk about what's in the box and don't let the boxes touch. 
and the women's brain thing all wired up and connected all over the place. Well, yeah, I'm a woman. That's the topic. That's the definition. So Vivian suggested I can perhaps help people by sharing my story and helping people who are perhaps in a similar situation to me. Well, what aspect? Okay, we were talking about health. I've had, I had my knee operation a year ago. And even at that time, when I had my first operation, I thought, which is nearly 18 months ago now, I thought that I would document my progress absolutely convinced that since I was using the Life Plus product that I would have a miracle recovery and then I would get lots of customers, right? And because, so, so Vivian talks about allowing yourself to be successful and because I don't want to sell anything. So hello, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your greetings today. I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to push anything on anybody, but I love my Life Plus products. I do believe they really help me. Yet my knee is still sore, even the first one that got operated. Recently, I had a lot of back pain. Now, why did the back pain stop? I don't know. Not really. And yet now I suspect it's because I've started taking ginseng. I should show you the box. It's in the kitchen. Joseph just got the original Ilhua ginseng today. We were using a cheaper brand of ginseng for the last month. Maybe it was only two weeks because we had a box of 30 sachets and we're sharing it. I really believe in ginseng because I used to sell it and I had hundreds of stories from my customers who told me the wonders that they experienced. There were lots of people who had arthritis and told me how their joints got better, how the pain disappeared, how their migraines disappeared. One lady who had been infertile who started getting her periods again after many years and had recovered a hope and a vision of having a family after totally ha having totally given up. So what it all boils down to, you know, you can see all the different things which seem to be all over the place. But what it boils down to is the life of faith. So I subscribe to the unification principles. I believe and propose mutual prosperity, interdependence, and universally shared values. And I'd like to teach those principles, the principles of give and take. The same universal principles that Bob and Vivian subscribe to. There are a couple of things that I would express a little bit differently, and that's what I want to work on. I want to work on sharing my perspective. I'm on lesson four again of the thinking into results. And Bob talks about, so he uses the diagram of the mind and the body, and the mind being the big circle and the body being the little circle or represented by everything from the body, from the neck down. And when you put a line across your head, you can imagine your conscious mind as a top half and the bottom half as a subconscious mind. Now the unification principle talks about a spirit person and a physical person. So Bob talks about the mind being spirit and energy and the body being the manifestation of that spirit, that the mind is actually in the whole body, not only in the brain, but even in the fingernail. And the body is the physical expression of that. Now unification principle talks about the spirit and body, and the spirit has a mind and a body, and the body has a mind and a body. So I'm going to give this talk with diagrams. I have to figure out how to really use that function that Bob uses on, on his chart, on the drawing program. And I'm going to put flip chart on my wish list 
I don't expect to get it from anybody this year for Christmas. But I'll put it on my wish list because I've wanted one and I want one and I'll get one. And okay, so you probably still think I haven't focused. But my goal was to share, okay, because I have a lot of ideas. Maybe I can tell one story after another and make separate videos about them and publish them one after the other. In any case, I want to only publish short videos at the moment, not long lectures. And I guess I do want to practice on, on focusing. And to do that, I probably should record what I'm saying, not only as in record uh, on the computer, but write it down and keep a list and make a, make a list of the things that I want to talk about. So what's come out of this? This is like my, my journaling when I'm writing my diary. So this is called vlogging because it's a video blog, right? I'm telling you what I think. And when I'm writing in my blog or in my journal, I'm writing what I think. And it, I do that for reflection to help me to, to focus on what I want and to figure out what I really want. And I was doing this whole TIR course, Thinking Into Results course, to figure out what direction do I want to go as a communications trainer. And I'm much more than a communications trainer. I'm much more than a data assistant. I'm a data manager, a virtual assistant, a virtual manager. And I've still got to work on putting together my whole CV because I have a lot of experience, a lot of competencies. But what do I really want to do? Not just the things I can do, not just make the videos for Women's Federation and post the videos for the Toastmasters Club and for Women in Nuclear. <laughs> Other things I want to do. And I'd like to have, as in live in, a peace embassy, a great big mansion in the middle of the city with a swimming pool and a big garden where people can come to visit to learn these unification principles, to become ambassadors for peace and where ambassadors for peace can come and learn these principles and learn how to apply them in their work, particularly ambassadors for peace. The whole ambassadors for peace program was designed to actually recruit parliamentarians to get 13 peace ambassadors for every parliamentarian in each country to advise them to help them to be more effective in building governments and nations that are really in line with Heavenly Parents Holy Community, with building the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth. In other words, living a life of mutual prosperity, interdependence and universally shared values. That's what I stand for. That's where I want to go. That's where I'm going. So if you're a philanthropist and you've got that big villa in the middle of the city in a secure, beautiful place in good condition with a swimming pool, a residence, guest rooms, quarters for visitors, family members and staff, a dining room, a lecture hall, teaching room, and you'd like to contribute to building Heavenly Parents Holy Community, I'm waiting with open arms because that's my dream. That's what I believe in. I've wanted it. I've thought about it. I've prayed for it a long, long, long time. I don't know where it is. And I don't even have to know where it is. I just know. The manifestation, it's waiting for everything to be aligned, for everything to come together. Wow. Is that faith? I've got faith. I've got endurance, perseverance, tenacity. I've got guts. Yes. And I'm getting better every day. <laughs> so let's help each other improve, okay?
So I'm going to see if I can post this and get on with it and see you again soon.